You're listening to Until They Sleep, a podcast where two parents finally get to sit down and discuss all the different things that run through their heads every day because their four kids are finally asleep. Thanks for listening. It is us, the Until the Sleep crew. We are back after being missing for the last two weeks, doing parent stuff with our children and school stuff and everything that comes with life. It is I, your co-host, Daniel, joined by my lovely wife, Chantel, and we have a special in-house guest, uh, number two, our second child has been asking to join us on a recording session for the podcast for the longest time. And we've been kind of worried about it and concerned because he's such a goofball. We don't know where he's going to go. But uh, first, we'll start with mom. So, hello, wife. Hi, everybody. It's our favorite time of year. It's Halloween time. and So, real quick, he's number two. He's trying to not laugh in the mic. Number two, uh, say hello to everybody. Go ahead, honey. Hello. There you go. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Say, uh... I am number two, and I am 11. All right. And, uh... This is the second time he joins us. Is it? Was uh, he young? I think we did this one time before a while ago. Did we put it out? I don't remember. I We did not, because you were being such a goofball. We hmm. didn't put it out? I don't remember. No. I, I just remember he's recorded with us before. Well, he's finally got a chance. He's been asking for for a while, so we figured. Well, you know, it's our favorite time of the year, which is Halloween for us. We and and the Delgado household, we're all about the scary season. Uh, we literally actually celebrate it year round. We watch movies. We decorate our house with scary characters and movie characters, and we're all big collectibles, and so include every one of our children and. Uh, so for us, it's not a big deal. I guess it's just a day that we get to show it to the people outside of the house. <laughs> yeah, because we decorate the outside of the house and not just the inside. And even then, the inside's a little more decorated. Extra. Well, it's, it's a lot more decorated than normal. Um, but yes, yeah, so we still have creepy things all year long. And I, I did want to make one note before we get into it. Yeah. About decorating the house on the inside. Oh, yeah. How bummed out I am that I can't go full blown because of that cat. <laughs> <laughs> the don't cat is a decoration. Her, no, no, don't don't call her out. She did nothing wrong. <laughs> she she's eating the cobwebs, the fake plastic cobwebs. So that's, she's eating, cobwebs. and then she throws them up. It's disgusting. That's your and fault. It's you annoying. were taunting her with them. I'm, so I'm talking about his potato. <laughs> potato. <laughs> she's a menace to decorations. <laughs> You say she's a menace to everything. She is, and I can't decorate the house the way I want to because I'm afraid she's going to knock things down. She's already proven that she's going to eat things that she shouldn't be. <laughs> so, yeah, um, we want. I want to do just because our number two is here with us, and I thought it would be fun to have like our typical. Well, this it's this is one of my things. I, I like having um, a draft. I like having doing drafts of whatever the season is or whatever the occasion, the holiday is. I like I like to do that, so we're gonna we're gonna have a little draft in a few minutes. But um, I want to I want to talk to number two. Uh, he's being very quiet. It was funny. He was being a goofball before we hit the record button, but it happens a lot. Uh, tell us about tell us about what what's going on for you this this Halloween season. What do you got planned? You know, what what, what kind of houses are you thinking? What kind of candy you think you're gonna get? I don't know. I don't know. All righty. Man of all of well, a sudden, very few I words. I know, very few words now that we're recording. What What are you going to be for Halloween this year? Steampunk guy. Some steampunk guy. That's right. We already got your stuff, right? Steampunk you, guy. You what? wanted me to buy more stuff. What were you wanting me to get? A coat. Another coat. He already has a coat, but he wants a different coat because it's not the right color. <laughs> so, buddy, uh, what were you last year? Oh, uh, Sweeney Todd. Sweeney Todd. And the year before that? Plague Doctor. The Plague Doctor. Okay, so I had it wrong. And the year before that, you were? 
a guy in a Halloween costume. Oh, were you, you were, Jareth? You were Jareth. I think that's the year you were Jareth. No, I think there was a year before that. So our son always does comes up with and is and it's all him on his own. He comes up with his ideas, and he picks pretty cool characters that I, in some way, uh, my wife has had an uh, inspiration behind it. I mean, she's the one that got him into a labyrinth, and he enjoyed it. And uh, when he said, "I want to be, I want to be Jared," we were like not surprised by it. So we were like, "Cool," but. Not a lot of people his age knew who he was. Nobody their age ever knows who they are. Because our uh, eldest one year was Phantom of the Opera. mm -hmm. And, yeah, nobody knew who he... Like, nobody his age knew who he was. Only the adults get our kids' costumes. And, again, props to our kids because they choose what they want to be. We don't don't tell them. Um, But, yeah. So, but this year he wanted to be steampunk you did want to be something else right that came up scarecrow from dc scarecrow from uh, dc scarecrow. Mm-hmm. that's a good one i was scarecrow once right so uh number one when he was a little baby he was into the batman face so he would dress up as batman and i would be a uh, a, a bad guy and one of the first years he was the first year he was batman i was scarecrow and then from there on i kept on being a bad guy for a few years and uh and he walked away over he wasn't a bad guy no no that was the one year that i made the exception but i've been scarecrow i've been lobo, lobo. i've been black mask mm-hmm. black been... mask yeah i think that's it i Does tried it... to be Bane one year but i was like i don't oh, think no, that worked I, out yeah. no because you've been superman you weren't Superman. You oh. were you were Clark Kent. <laughs> yeah. So I didn't I didn't get a chance to get a costume, and I just wore jeans and a red T shirt. Yes. And I said I was Clark, Clark Kent, Kent from Smallville. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I remember that year. And then you were Wolverine the one year. No, you've been Hulk. Yeah. Uh, that's you were Hulk one year. I remember when you had that long, long, long. Hair. He wasn't was Hulk. He was Scar. He was Scar. He sorry. was Scar. Because he had the long hair. So, yeah. All right. Well, he's being quiet. I'm going to try to get him involved here. So, one of the things that I wanted to draft uh, and talk about since it's Halloween town, Halloween town, <laughs> uh, Halloween time, and uh, and I really, really, people, it's it's not Christmas time. So, please don't be putting out Christmas stuff right now. Okay? It's too late. It's already all out. Anyways. Okay. Back to your draft. Mm, okay. So, we're going to have a little draft. Okay. Uh, real quick. How do you guys want to do it? Do you just want to cover your three... Or do we go number three, three, three all the way around? I, I, mean, I have more than three because I really couldn't pick, but oh. we'll do our best. Okay, so we're gonna you start want, with. You, you want to cover it? You, you, you go ahead. You go ahead. So for the first one, uh, the first, the first little. Mini I think we should go by have. age. Where you want to go by and age? And then number two should go first. Number two. So we're gonna go oh. favorite Halloween time movies. Okay, so like your number... favorite movies to watch during this time of year. So, hey, first of all, I, I'm dying to say this, and I've been trying to tell you, but who does number two work for? <laughs> <laughs> who? You can laugh in the mic, okay? It's okay. <laughs> huh? mm, wait, do I have to say a certain amount of movies? It's supposed to be three movies, three. but okay. if you have more, you can say honorable mention. Okay. So at number three um, of your or favorite these, Halloween movies. They don't have to be in order. So in no particular order, what are your favorite Well, movies? if you had to rank them. All right. We're starting at Beetlejuice. Okay. All right. Okay, um, Goosebumps and Hocus Pocus. Those are your three favorite Halloween movies that you would like need to watch every Halloween whenever it's every Halloween Every year. Time. I need to watch them. Yeah. So, uh, tell me a little bit of why on each one. Let's start with Beetlejuice. Um, because Beetlejuice. <laughs> I think we already said his name too many times. I <laughs> know, we can't say that. We can't say why? <laughs> well, fun fact, Beetlejuice is uh, on our rankings um, for the, on the 80 best Halloween movies. It came in at number seven. So, just so you know. Okay, and why uh, goosebumps. Which is goosebumps? I don't know. I just really like goosebumps, and I've watched all the shows. 
Except you just found out about the cartoons. I just found out about the cartoons. Um, so I kind of just like to watch the movies. Okay. Because, I don't know, I just like goosebumps. Okay. All right. Do they scare you? Do you, like, when you read the books? Is that what started it for you? Reading the books or? Um, no, the show started it for me. The show? Was it the old show or the newer mm-hmm. one? The, the old show. How did you start watching the old one? Um, it was on Netflix. Me and number one would watch it all the time. Okay. And we just really kind of got into it. All right. I think and you got yeah. into it more than yeah, number one did. Yeah, you got into it way more. Okay. And now, and now you watch the movies, right? You enjoy the movies. And then... Um, we just saw the new series. And then we started watching that new TV which show. Which we have to watch an episode still. Right, we're on episode. Yeah, yeah. It came out. So what do you think about the new the new TV show? Like, do you think they're, it's pretty good overall? Like Overall, I mean, there's some stuff, but still, um, I think it's good. I like the titles of the episodes. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay, so we had Goosebumps, Peter Juice, and what was the other one? Hocus Pocus. Hocus. Pocus. Why Pocus. Hocus Pocus? Um, I mean, I originally learned about Hocus Pocus because our mom kind of made us watch it. Mm-hmm. Like, every year, yeah? Yeah. Um, so I've kind of just gotten used to watching it, and um, now it's kind of one of my favorites. So, so it's kind of which, like a family thing? Which one do you prefer, number one or number two? Number one. Number one. Or the old, or you can't mess with the original. So uh, there you go. Okay. All right. So then the, there's there's your your three favorite movies to watch during Halloween. So thank you for that, sir. And then we go on to mom. Okay. So I couldn't just pick three because I the rules hard. Love three. all Halloween stuff. Okay. Can I lump some it together? Okay. My number one. Is then going to be all horror classics. Okay, I can respect that. So, what is covered under your horror classics? That's right? like Let's the see. original Nosferatu, the original Dracula, the original Frankenstein. Like this year with the kids, we watched one called The Cat People. You know, these are all old classic scary movies. So, I'm, I'm lumping all of those together as one because I don't get to watch all of them every year, but I try to watch several every halloween season right i remember um, last year you were into the whole frankenstein thing there was an yeah to and it's girls. just because sometimes these movies aren't even available until this time of year so i can't really watch them anytime you know unless okay. we go and buy them all at some point um so i would have to say then that's my number one is going to be any old black and white classic horror movie uh, my number two you're telling me i have to pick one um, I guess I'll go with Practical Magic. Okay. The sister? The, 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 yeah, sisters. the witches. The witches that are sisters. Um, and I actually I had dashed Hocus Pocus next to that one because they're still about witches. Right, right. And I do but watch... He, he picked, it, he so picked Hocus Pocus, so I'm picking something different. And then... <sighs> my number three is going to be Death Becomes Her. <laughs> yeah, because I watch Death Becomes Her every year, and I have to admit that is the only time I ever watch that movie. It's because you play it, that would never come from me. I love Death it. Becomes Her, and I love Chris Willis. So <laughs> that says a lot. So those are my top mm. my top ones. I had some other movies, but okay, okay. those are good ones. What about yours? Or okay. do I have to say why? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Let us know what. Like, okay. What about well, the classics, just because they're classics. And yeah, it's a the, different. The OGs, right? Those it's a different scare. They're, they're not gory. They're not. Like, it's they're the family. Too. Yeah. yeah, the kids are learning this when I. Because I, I literally make them watch them with me. Um, it they're, they're not gory. They're just, like, spooky, you okay. know? So they're okay. And the girls get into it, too. The girls are like, oh, gonna happen what are they doing and he'll ask questions as well number two will also ask me questions when they're watching so and i enjoy engaging with them about the cinematography of those times and the different way that they told stories you know um so i just enjoy them and then practical magic you actually got me on practical magic because i really never knew that movie i hadn't really ever paid attention to that movie till we got together 
And I think it was one of your favorite movies I, I overall. Like movie a lot, yeah. And um, it's just a, it is a Halloween no, movie. No, it's not my favorite movie. <laughs> it's it, a chick flick. It was a movie you liked. And I just, it's a Halloween movie and it's a nice story. It's, it's. About sisters, It's right? about sisters and that and idea of falling in love with someone who, the impossible, right? The, the impossible coming true. Yeah, I actually like that movie because, uh. Because of Sandra Bullock. Well, uh, yeah, and you know, Nicole Kidman. <laughs> and Nicole was Kidman high, was high. Time in my life too. No, but it was more of the bad guy. Like, oh uh, really? Him singing Willie Nelson. Oh yeah, that's and why. I thought that was like that was pretty cool. But I also like Aiden Quinn a lot because of his yeah. dad. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, I was I grew up, I grew up with my dad being a big Anthony Quinn fan. So like you hear the Quins and then you like watch the movies. Um. But yeah, it was a great movie. I did like it. And yeah, Sandra Bullock. I mean, I've had a... Well, you're the one who turned me on to that movie. And just, I think we watch it every year. I'm Sandra Bullock since <laughs> Demolition Man. <laughs> and then yeah. Death Becomes Her. I just, I just think it's a funny movie. I've just, I love, I just love that movie. I don't know what else to say. I, it's, I'm sure a lot of people probably don't care for Death Becomes Her. But to me, I'm just, it's very amusing to me. The I'm, idea it or just, what is it's it? hilarious. Yeah, I guess the idea that the fact that they, you know, they can live forever and yet they're always hurting each other. It's very slapstick. You know, mm. the whole it's it's slapstick to me. And that maybe that little kid inside of me, he just loves that fact that they beat each other up. <laughs> so okay. and they're fighting over a man who's like <laughs> in the end wants nothing to do with them. Right. <laughs> so anyways, okay. I just I just I think it's funny because they're dead. Mm. Any, dead. any any notable mentions that you met? Uh, Haunted Mansion, Sleepy Hollow. All right, those are, those are good ones. I really like the new Haunted Mansion movie, by the way. Mm, I didn't care for it. I that I was, enjoyed that it. Was all right. I enjoyed it. That's good. I I I enjoyed the extra elements that we haven't had in the other movies. I don't think there's been a great Sleepy Hollow, I mean, Haunted Mansion movie. Do you know what I mean? I think I, this was I, the better. It was okay. It was it was good. Maybe I was just tired. But, uh, I mean, I enjoyed the cast. I mean, I like Danny DeVito and Owen Wilson. And I definitely like Rosario Dawson. So. Yes, for sure. Um, and Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow. Like, yeah, Sleepy I, Hollow. I Christopher love Walken Christopher Walken as the, the bomb. <laughs> yes, he's great. He, Killed it. <laughs> he killed movie. it literally. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, you've got Johnny Depp and Christina Ricci. And yeah, I was surprised the little buddy didn't have more uh, any Johnny Depp movies in there. Um, he probably would have if you would have, because he he you told him top three, so he did yeah. it very literally. So. Okay. Well, um, I'm gonna start with my notable notable mentions Halloween movies. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick these uh, because I was a kid and I remember in Halloween I used to watch these movies. So one of them was the Karate Kid, the original one. I used to watch that. That's a lot of Halloween. Halloween movie. Uh, okay. E.T. was also another Halloween movie I okay. watched with the key. Because they're all based in Halloween, right? Okay. I mean, Halloween <laughs> happens around them. Yeah, I guess. Okay. No, no funny. No funny. Yeah. Did you guys ever realize that? That they're, yes, they're I, based on Halloween? Yeah, but... I mean, Karate Kid isn't based on Halloween. Uh, he says, I want to be invisible. And, and Mr. Miyagi builds him like a whole shower curtain I know, to hide him. But that's just one thing that happens. Well, I mean. Go ahead. Go Halloween. ahead. Go ahead go <laughs> it's ahead, Halloween, ahead. right? Uh, honorable you mentions. Honorable mentions. Okay. Uh, uh, you know what? I really have a hard time picking a movie. But if I had to pick my number three, it was a movie that I always watched. Uh, through my whole high school and part of a uh, big part of my beginning of my life uh, as a kid, as a teenager, adolescent, or beginning of a, of a grown ass man, uh, it's the crow. Uh, that's my number three. It's based on Halloween. Uh, again, it's so like are a love these story. your picks or Th are these this your is my, honorable this is my mention? Pick. No, this is my number three is the oh, crow. Okay, okay. So number three is the crow, uh, and that's just the crow part one. I didn't care for the other ones. Uh, City of Angels was kind of nice because of the story of a father and a son, mm -hmm. but uh, but yeah, the OG that, that's uh, to me that's 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 a good for me movie that I had to watch in Halloween all the time. That that was one of them. Okay, boss number one. Are you taking your picks from number one's no. choices? No, I I don't even know what number one's choices would be, but I'm pretty yeah, sure yeah, he's that, not here with us. That, so. that might be one of them. Um, 
So yeah, the crow is one. So uh, that's your number three. Are you going three. backwards? Yeah, no, that's number three. Number two, man. You were supposed to write these down. I, it's hard. I, I was supposed to, and, and you look at my paper, it's it's literally blank. <laughs> it's a little blank for number two and number one. So I'm going to go on a limb here. I was going to say, and I'm pretty sure the people that know me will automatically say, oh, yeah, House of a Thousand Corpses. Um, I was going to put that in there. But I am not. I'm not going to put it in there this, this time around. I am going to go with uh, <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this uh, Hubie Halloween I knew it I knew you were going to say Hubie Halloween because you said <laughs> the look on your face I was like you going to say something stupid <laughs> is it because of Adam Stanler yeah it's because of you guys it's because of you guys. And we've been watching it every year. Yeah, yeah, it's actually because of you guys. Because you guys like really like out of Silent movies. You guys are going to well, that whole Well, it's your phase. fault. And uh, the first time we wa- you guys watched it, you were like, Dad, you have to watch this movie with us. So you guys made me sit there and watch it with you guys. And I thought it was like horrible. But I still laughed. And just the fact that I was laughing with you guys, it created a nice memory. And... Uh, and so you guys, you're like it comes to Halloween time, and you're like, Dad, we gotta watch you Halloween again. So I was like, All right. So I feel like it's become one of those that we yeah, have we have to watch. to watch as a family. Yeah, that we have to watch as a family. So I'm picking that one for you guys, okay? But if I had to pick something and a notable mention, another, I think I would have said the Rob Zombie Halloween movies. Uh, but I tried rewatching them recently, and I was like, Man, this is this is at another level. I messed up. But so yeah. So, disregard that. So, yeah. Um, so, Hubie Halloween, number two, because we are a family podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and number one. And number one, come on. Come on, people. Come uh, on. Take a guess. Michael. Yeah. Halloween, the OG. It's killing us since 1978. <laughs> it's like me. <laughs> yeah, so one of my favorite Halloween movies to watch. Anything Michael Myers. And you finally got a Michael Myers mask. And I finally got a Michael Myers mask. And you got a little Michael Myers doll that dances. Yeah. <laughs> and I a love. giant Michael Myers inflatable. Yeah. And a giant. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, I have a thing for Michael Myers. I always have. Uh, he's the guy that ruined my life. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, Michael Myers. More on that later. <laughs> so, Halloween. Those are my top three and my men, my notable ones um, okay okay so right. for the next one we're gonna go with um uh, what are your favorite scary slash halloween characters number two um i really like sloppy dummy nice goosebumps uh i like beetlejuice and you said his name three times now <laughs> oh no he's coming and stripe and stripe okay and why do you like these guys um i like sloppy dummy because it's goosebumps and sloppy dummy <laughs> okay something about puppets is just scary alone it, i know but he's these are these are he's ones very, he likes yeah. so he's not afraid of him though um i like and beetle, beetle guys I, I i like beetle guys because why, why wouldn't you like <laughs> What a great sense of humor, right? <laughs> I don't know how many people are like, you let your kids watch that? <laughs> we have heard that before. I, we have heard that before. Since but we heard that with Sweeney one. Todd. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Sweeney Todd, too. Um, I like Stripe because it's Gremlins and he's cool. <laughs> he's cool. Got a mohawk. Yeah. He's the leader. He is pretty cool. He Actually, I thought he was cuter before he turned into the gremlin. You know, when he was when like he, a little mogwai. Yeah, when he was a mogwai, he had yeah. a stripe on his head. Yeah, it looked pretty cool. He looked really great. He kind of looked like you as a baby, now that I think about it. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, wait, but the gremlins is a Christmas movie. That's okay. It's all right. But... He, just remember just that for the Christmas episode then. <laughs> <laughs> you can forget if I give for your Christmas. We're just saying it's characters. Well, yeah. Halloween characters, but that's okay. It's, we still, he's still, we can still watch it during this time, right? Okay, boss number two's turn. Okay, boss number two's turn. My favorite Halloween slash scary characters 
Um, again, I couldn't pick one, so I lumped the whole Adams family <laughs> into oh, no, my that's number great. one. That's acceptable. That's acceptable. <laughs> the oh. whole Adams family is lumped into number one. Um, and I just, I just love the Adams family. Every version of them, uh, you know, from the TV shows to the Got cartoons me. to the movies, yeah. And then uh, my number two is gonna be Beetle Guys and Lydia. Okay, so are my number Lydia, two because you got video guys, so yeah. And my number three is Young Frankenstein. The, Aww. the movie, the, the Mel Ar- Brooks movie. Yes, I love. I should have put that as my number, my movies to watch, but I haven't watched it in a couple of years. Well, at least a year. This is a family show. I love Young Frankenstein. It's so what? It's a family movie. You know, kind of. I never watched that movie until I watched it with you when we were dating. I just. I think it's a hilarious movie. Yeah, no, I it was. It. it was hilarious. It is It is funny. It's a young Frankenstein. Okay. All right. Wow, I feel like a bad guy now. I should kind of redo my draft then. No, your draft um, is your draft. Who are your favorite Halloween slash scary characters? Okay, so my favorite. Um, I literally have... <sighs> One. <sighs> I have three, but they're not very family friendly. So I kind of oh, want to change one. Just I, I kind of want to change one with 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 the Joker. How many people are actually listening I, with their families? Mm, yeah, that's true. Because <laughs> I, I would say the Joker is a really cool one. Because I like when people dress up as the Joker. I've never been the Joker because obviously I don't have the body for the Joker anymore, <laughs> ever. Uh, but I, one day maybe. Uh, no, so I actually uh, I number three I have Hannibal Lecter. Okay. I, I, I really Hannibal enjoy Lecter. Hannibal Lecter. I don't mind watching him on Halloween or any time of the year. Um, I like the fact that he's a smart man. He's a doctor and he knows how to play everyone. And um, especially if it's a uh, uh, Mads Mikkelsen, uh, Hannibal, or Anthony yes, Hopkins. Yes, Mads but Mikkelsen. Mads, no, no, yeah. Mads is the best. So I think I've said that before, how much I love that. So Hannibal is my number three. My number two is uh, Otis Firefly. From okay. From the Rob Zombie movies of uh, House of a Thousand Corpses and Devil's Rejects and Three from Hell, um, I I really I really enjoy. You like Otis? I, I like Otis. Like uh, and my number one is Michael, Michael Myers. Myers. <laughs> <laughs> what a surprise! I, I love Michael what Myers. A Michael Myers. Michael Myers. Michael Myers. I said it three times. Or the Boogeyman, aka the Boogeyman. Aka the Boogeyman. Uh, or what was it? The uh, the on the original they he, they weren't calling them the boogeyman. They called them something else. The 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 figure, the silhouette. The, the I thought it was stranger. the boogeyman. The, the, in the movie, but in the credits, it, it said something else. Oh, okay. But yeah, so those are my three. All okay. right. So All right, for now... the final one, what characters that you find scary? Yes, that scare you. Your top that three. That you have an issue oh, with number scary. two. The, the ones that scare you. Who you okay. got? Like, so if you were like home alone and then you're like, you saw this character and you literally like pee Would your die. pants. <laughs> you, you almost number two your pants. <laughs> <laughs> um, toe lady. The toe lady? The toe lady. The toe lady. Oh, t- t- okay. Tell, tell, tell us who the toe lady. Tell everybody listening who, okay. who, what you're talking about. Um, in the movie... Um, scary stories to tell in the dark. Also, the scary stories I've read to you because that's what it's based on. Yeah. Um, there's a story about this girl who kind of get her toe cut off and somebody eats it in a stew. And she kind of kills the guy to get her toe back. We assume that that's what happened, even though it's inside of him. And that's always scared me. My mo- uh, boss number two traumatized me with that. You can say mom. It's okay. You can say mom. mom. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're trying not to say names of the kids, but everybody knows mom's name. Um, Her yeah. name is mom. I yeah. I read I read the story to them when they were a little younger, <laughs> and number one and number two. Especially number one. To this day, you can't go tell him anything about my toe. Where's my toe? He gets so so freaked out. He gets so mad. He yells and screams and tells you to get away from him. So I'm like crying over here because I just remembered 
I, I have to tell it. I remember the day you told them the story. You were reading them the story, and they were laying in bed, right? And we were living in this place. And it was like a cool place, but they all had like their blankets, and they're laying in bed. And, and she's reading the story, people, okay? She's like the book and everything. She's had this book forever. She read it to the girls before we, we started having our families, and she got them with it, too. And she tried to do it to the boys. And when she goes, where's my toe? There it is, right? And leaves it like that. And it's over. And she's saying goodnight. <laughs> and then she says, where's my toe? <laughs> and she grabs number one's toe and drags it. Like pulls it. He's like, there it is. This punk was like a freaking cat. He like jumped so high. I thought he was like, like, clown. like if he was a cat, he would have been like attached, you know, on the cartoons to the roof. The like, ceiling. <laughs> And this yeah, one's okay, just there. cracking up. But <laughs> it was a it was such a good moment. I, I enjoy that moment. It stays with me forever. Um but yeah, that was a good one. Okay, so then that was uh oh, that, so that was his number three. That right? was your number one. That's okay. his number one. Okay, number um, two. Chucky. Chucky. Oh. Can I tell a story? Yes, go how- ahead. Okay. Um I remember it differently than he does, but go ahead, give us your version. Okay, um, Mom's um, cousin well, was at our house, and her and her cousin were watching Chucky. They told us to go upstairs. I instead decided to hide underneath the sofa. Well, it was a futon. Yeah, the very same sofa that they were sitting on to watch Chucky. And I kind of he was like three. <laughs> I was kind of watching it underneath the sofa. And I became traumatized <laughs> of the little tiny doll. And <laughs> you it in your voice. <laughs> you sound so nervous talking about it. But ever since then, you've had an issue with Chucky, right? Yes. Even though he had little red chucks. And oh. he had little overalls. <laughs> Freaking scare the crap out of me and every time he, working in my old car. And it was at that same place we were living at. And he was running around. And yeah, he scared dad. Dad's like, what? Because we had just seen Chucky. <laughs> he even scared his dad, not realizing what he was doing. He scared dad, his little his little feet running across <laughs> the floor. I had this old suburban. I'm on the ground working on this thing. And all of a sudden, I hear giggling. I was like, what's going on? And this car is like outside of the house, past the fence. So there shouldn't be anybody out there. And I just see from one wheel to the next wheel, um, little red chucks. He's like, on this rock gravel area and i'm like what and then he <laughs> and i was like oh crap that's scary and then it goes across and i'm literally i was like what's going on and then i don't want to hear anything and then i hear the giggling and i keep wanting to see i was like what the hell is going on and then <laughs> it was him he got out of the house and got out of the fence and he thought it would be funny to I don't run know, around run the around car. the car um and because I ran out of people I'm scared of, I chose Marinette, a.k.a. the superhero from a sister. <laughs> the miraculous ladybug chick. Yeah. You, why? And why, why is she scary? <laughs> why is she scary? Okay. Um, sister number two is always watching <laughs> this show. And at this point, it's gotten annoying where all she can talk about is this marionette lady. That's true. It's true. <laughs> she says this so she's saying, he's saying uh, sister number two, which is number four. Uh, of to, the group. To over yes. From the group. Uh, so... <laughs> It's true. We went from Bluey like every day, like not stop to this Marinette the miraculous, miraculous whatever. whatever ladybug and yes. cat noir whatever. Noir, oh, yes. oh my goodness. And they're like her best friends and they go to school with her and she's in love with Adrian, I think his name is the cat, the cat, the cat she, noir guy. Yeah, she and... pretends to be a different character every day, and I don't even know what's going on. And yeah, yeah. I can understand why that's a nightmare for you. Mm. I get it. All right, good ones, <laughs> All right, buddy. Good All right. ones. Okay, my turn. My number one scare the crap out of me are the cannibals from the Hills Have Eyes. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that movie. Those. Is. Yes, I have not seen that movie in a very long time, but 
I think it's because I just think about how scary those things are. And there's no way I could ever watch that in front of the kids. I mean, there's many, many movies we can't watch in front of the kids. But those in particular, I can't watch in front of the kids. Um, my number two is going to be Megan. Because <laughs> <laughs> we just... I hate the whole concept of AI and watching that movie, Megan, just embedded it in me <laughs> just that much more i'm just not okay with ai I'm not okay me. with it megan's after me uh yeah my son is also afraid of her see that could have been when you could have said nah but marinette was better yeah and my number three is jeepers creepers mm. i love the movie jeepers creepers i hate it's like a love hate relationship i have with jeepers creepers i love to watch that movie whenever i can watch that movie but the whole time I'm mad and I'm yelling at it. I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing? And he is scary. He's I'm not crazy. He's so he is scary. He's, he's weird looking. So yeah. weirdly, so scary looking. I'm the creep creeper. <laughs> That's different. <laughs> no. Oh, he's the creep keeper. I do. I love the creep. I think he's cute. He's uh, handsome. He's handsome. <laughs> and then my notable mention for scary are the the ghosts from Thirteen Ghosts. Oh. Especially the jackal and the torso. Okay. The jackal is the one that had the cage on its head. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the torso. Those are mm. like my notable mentions for monsters or scary things. Wait, wait, wait. You have never seen that movie yeah. and you're not going to watch it. Well, I keep so. getting them confused. The Crypt Creeper and the other guy you were talking about. Um, I thought the Crypt Creeper kind of looks like a zombie. He is kind of like a zombie. Yeah. The little skinny skeleton guy. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know why I love him. He just makes me laugh. Hmm. All right, honey, your turn. Okay, my number three is a babysitter who is always too nice, and uh, she likes to sing a lot. Um, I don't know her name, but she was in that movie, The Sound of Music. It scares the crap out of me. <laughs> <laughs> my number two oh my <laughs> had to be... Uh, <laughs> Her another, name was Maria. <laughs> okay. And my number two will be another babysitter who flies in an umbrella and goes to the chimneys and <laughs> makes... <Pops. laughs> Scares the crab on it. Too, just too, too joyful. So, so babysitters <laughs> that are too nice, hear you? And, 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 num- and number one <laughs> will have to be Nanny McPhee. I think you have this trauma with babysitters. <laughs> no, no, that, 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 that was a joke. <laughs> I could totally believe it, though. You not liking things that are nice. Yeah. No, yeah that's, <laughs> like, that's like nights movies. Yeah. You say, you don't want to watch a scary movie? No, not Titanic, please. <laughs> Let the, let the sound of music, please. No, no, no. Kill me now. Torture. Kill me. <laughs> Take me out of my misery. Make it happen. Uh, number three, Dr. Satan from The House of a Thousand Corpses. Uh, I think you've talked about that movie now three times. Yeah, that that that, that was that. Uh, was, uh, I, if I had to pick like characters like that, um, uh, the aliens and... Uh, any aliens, I guess. Prometheus, Mars Attacks, um, World of the Worlds. Just aliens in general. Uh, it's just aliens, you know, like just coming in and start slaughtering humanity. Um, yeah, that's that would be a good one. And then if I, I... I was trying to think of, like, is there any character in Annabelle? I guess I would have to say Annabelle. That's a good one. That, that tall. Like, that, that's a scary one. But I, I kind of... Um, things that are scary actually that I, I'm not gonna lie that actually I, I watched the movie as a kid and it didn't scare me I, I enjoyed it um, but the subject is scary because we've had kind of similar um, experiences or we you know we hear stories and, and everything so I was gonna say some typical like La Llorona or something like that or Annabelle uh, but I was gonna say anything with an exorcism you know, okay. like a ghost possessing a body. Okay. Like a demon possessing bodies. Like ex- like the exorcist movies, like like I, they're intriguing, but they make you think, you know, like... 
Mm-hmm. Like, is this possible? I mean, because there, there can be a supernatural, right? There could be aliens. So I think those are the things that scare me. Um, the possibilities of what if, right? So yeah, I would say Annabelle, aliens, and what was the other one I said? Um, I forgot. The sound of music. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Doctor Satan. And that Satan, yeah, because I was a guy that liked to experiment on people, mm-hmm. and he's you know yeah. alive with machines well just... i guess by that case dr moreau should also be scary dr moreau is scary that is uh, dr moreau is scary think he's about scary it. yeah i mean if you're talking about someone who likes to experiment on people dr moreau that would be right so yeah i think, I think the, 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 those are honorable those are mention my, yeah honorable dr. Mention, moreau. dr moreau yeah um yeah yeah, yeah. all right those, those, i would say those yeah, yeah. annabelle is very actually well, our son hasn't really seen our level of scary yet, so he's not familiar with true scary. So, so on that note, okay, so this is just just uh, kind of interview guys now. Like, uh, why do you like Halloween so much? Like, why what what makes it? What about the things that you pick? Like, what led you to do that? Because you are our our, our weirdo kid, you know. You're you're, <laughs> you're you're the one that likes. You know, things that the other ones are afraid of. You know, the, you, you enjoy, like, we talked about Beetle Jews, Edward Sister Hands, like, all the Johnny Depp movies you always enjoyed. Um, Gremlins, you know, you enjoy. Most kids are afraid of that stuff. Like, you even said that at school you have a hard time when you tell your friends that stuff that you watch and their parents are like, what? Like, no, you're not allowed to watch that. Like, why, why is it that you like that stuff? Mm-hmm. Tim Burton. <laughs> is most of it that, that's like half of it <laughs> okay yeah tim burton is half of the reason all right the rest of the reason is boss number two boss number two <laughs> yeah <laughs> you, you were gonna put all the blame on mom well yeah. i'm the one who she's the one to do to everything i do expose him to all the things i like yeah and and that leads me to find many more things but I don't make him like them. It's just he, he, I introduce him to things I think he would like. So I think I know him well enough to be like, he might enjoy this because he's the one kid who'll sit with, he'll sit through a movie with me. He sits still through that podcast. Everything he's forbidden to everything. I know. He's, he's having a hard, he's our kid who can't sit still. So he's having a really hard time sitting still. Now right you guys now. know, like when we told you about it before. Yeah. It's he's just, super he's fidgety. Gi- yeah. He's, you know, this is our dungeon master. He's our, imagination of producer, our yes. Director. He wants to be a produ- a director, producer something like oh. he's just nodding his head over there he he wants to create a podcast himself uh, he actually wants to do a youtube channel this is our creative kid he wants mm. to do a youtube channel i still am not clear on what he wants to do with that i've told you like over like 16 times but you now. keep like you keep going all over the place you're like, you want to do this you want to do that you want to do this and i, I told tell you, you to it's focus. gonna be like one of those half youtube channels where i do almost everything <laughs> <laughs> so, we're working on that we're working on that but you know this is the kid that gravitates towards these things he's open to it you know versus number one is not <laughs> open to these things right so well number one we said we were going to come home and, and i wanted to watch the ralph zombie halloween movies and this one was like yay and the other one's like oh cool yeah awesome dude those are sh- those are so messed up. And we get home and say, good night, everybody. I'm going to bed. <laughs> yeah, he's not asleep. He was in his room on his computer. <laughs> Buddy, I regret not naming you Keanu so bad. When you're talking and your mannerisms with your hand and everything. And his and hair, hair long. And the way you're saying that. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm just waiting for you to just... Every time I talk to you, I just wait for you to end with like, and be excellent to each other. <laughs> Yes, dad wanted to name him Keanu. <laughs> I mean, he does have a K name, but that's not Keanu. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me, how's how's your first podcast going? Are you all right with this? You've mm. talked so much. I don't think we're going to have enough time to edit. <laughs> Do you have anything you want to say? Um, Are we going to end it off here? No, 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 no. no we're just talking. Okay, um. No, but I mean, I just if wanted to ask you about your, uh, what your, your, why you like it. I'm going to ask mom the, the next question too. You know, I was like, 
What about you? Like, what what got you to well, like Halloween so much? Let, let him finish. Are you done? You, what you else do you like? Us? He said Tim Burton. Tim Burton. What do you like about Tim Burton? And half a mom. Um, I I just like the horror he makes. I like the subject of the things he makes. I I think you've told me you like the way he forms his like the imagination and the storytelling. Yeah, I I love the way he puts together all this stuff and especially like the claymations yeah and things like that he just really and and the music you like the music you've told me uh, most that's danny elfman and most of his like movies and stuff i don't know why he makes them seem kind of old okay it feels old and you and you're our old timey guy right yeah he likes to be dapper he likes to look dapper. This is a word he likes and dapper. Yeah, and he's he's our old timey kid. He he likes to wear button up shirts and slacks and when he no not all the time but I think he used to more before and not as much lately. But he's our our old timey right, kid. Right, he always wears shorts with everything and including dress shirts. <laughs> it's okay. We're in California. <laughs> it works. <laughs> Shorts and a button-up shirt is just the way you dress in California. Yeah, no, I know. I get what you're talking about, uh, Tim Burton. Like, the way that he shoots the f- movies. There's something about, like, the backgrounds or the trees that look old, but they're scary. But they kind of look, like, real. And at the same time, they look, like, kind of, like, foamy, like, fantasy you like. Mm-hmm. Like, I think a lot about, like, uh, like the Sleepy Hollow movie and mm-hmm. the way the set is and those dark grays, those dark colors. I had noticed that that's the things that attract him because he was the same thing with like Court Spride. And, and those are all Tim Christmas. Burton. Yeah. Well, like you also like Edgar Allan Poe. Yes, I do. Right. You, <clears throat> you enjoy the poems and learning about him. and yeah, You like the dark <clears throat> stuff. Like, you know, things that. Some well, things that other him. people would consider dark for a child. Okay, my, my favorite poem is the most common one, The Raven. Okay, well, that's what most people know, so it's normal for you to enjoy that until you've read more. I've read, like, only four of his poems. Okay. I do more have than a, most kids your age. I do have a whole book dedicated to Edgar Allan Poe, if you ever want to grab it. <laughs> it's really tiny print, though. <laughs> All, right. All right. All right. What about you, Mom? Why do I like Halloween? Because, I don't know, I've just always... Because I am alone. I am utterly alone. Um, um, that I can just express that piece of me that I don't really get to express the rest of the year for whatever reason. Mm-hmm. You know, I, if I had enough money to like turn my house into a goth house, I probably would. Um, and then I'd be yelled at the whole time by my mother <laughs> about there not being enough light in the house. <laughs> uh. So, uh, okay, so, why why do you like this? So time of year? I was a big mama's boy, and I was a big scary cat. I was over over uh, pampered and and babied when I had a mother, and uh, when she passed away, as I said before, I went to live with my dad, and I learned that I had older siblings. Uh, one of them was my eighteen year old brother Kiki, um, and he liked to torture me and mess with me. And because uh, I guess he just liked the fact that I was such a puss. So bottom line, it came to Halloween time and this punk uh, set me down and forced me. And when I said he set me down and forced me, I mean, people, he there, there was rope and, and masking tape uh, and duct tape involved. <laughs> and he grabbed a whole bunch of uh, scary movies. And I was introduced to Friday the 13th, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street and Halloween. And... Uh, a Hellraiser, and oh, how could I forget that phantasm? It's not even that scary. And uh, yeah, now that I look at them, that I'm older, it's, it's funny, right? But uh, he tried to mess with me and tried to show me some scary movies, and uh, it backfired. As it went on and went on, I was scared, but I, I started to kind of enjoy them. And uh, the adrenaline rush was kind of like weird. Um, so yeah, I ended up enjoying the movies. I ended up enjoying them, but the character that I enjoyed the most that I thought was the most uh, human was Michael Myers. 
uh, because all the other ones seem fake, right? You know, oh, a zombie. Too far fetched. Yeah, the you know the a guy that drowned in a lake and comes back and is killing the campers or whatever because they're bad. I was like, ah, whatever. And then you know, Nightmare on Elm Street. I was like, oh, it's a guy that's killing people in their dreams or whatever. I was like, mm, okay, he's scary looking and everything, but eh, whatever. But then the whole idea of this guy shows what a mechanic's jumpsuit and a white mask on Halloween killing bad babysitters. Uh, there it is, babysitters again. No, babysitters again. You do yeah. have a thing with babysitters. Yeah, there it is, babysitters again. Uh, but what messed me up, and I always like to say that I have that one favorite scene that for me, it was like, oh, cool. Like, But he scared me. Don't get me wrong. He scared the crap out of me. Uh, there was a character that did scare me a lot as a kid that haunted me for years until I w- rewatched the movie already as a teenager, and that was Darkness from Legend. Uh, I saw it as a kid, and he scared me. To me, he was scary. It was the scariest thing. Uh, Do you then, think though that was based on your, your yes, the way it was you were the, raised? It was the way I was the raised. image of the devil, right? So you're told that as a kid, coming from Catholic families, what you know satan or lucifer or the devil is supposed to look like in their fifth description of darkness and so then you see this character in the movies and he's scary with the big horns and his voice and and what he has to say and he wants to live in darkness and wants to kill something that's so beautiful like unicorns and you're like wow this guy's pure evil and then you know i rewatched it again later on in life and i was like okay this is not bad it's like it's a kid movie it's a fantasy movie like i can imagine the language was a barrier at the time because i you know i wasn't that well at english so i didn't understand the premise of the story uh and then later on it was fine but yeah i i just i just learned that that uh also being you know mexican uh we celebrate the day of the dead so we're all about the other world right the spirits and the ghosts and accepting it and celebrating it and we believe in sitting down and having a meal with our loved ones that are buried and we pretend to that they're there with us and so so we're kind of welcoming to that dark stuff which is funny right because at the same time religion tells you not to do that stuff Mm -hmm. so but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, and and I it's liked like it. It's part of the culture, yeah. And I enjoyed it, and, and and I liked it. It scared me. Don't get me wrong. It scared me. It's just there's like, Nightmare on Elm Street Part Three was for me the the one that scared me the most. I don't even remember. Oh uh, well, yeah, I'll never forget that one scene. That I hated that one scene. Uh, Which is the one with the guys like a cockroach in a box? Oh, that's like way later. I don't remember. That's like Which five, I think. Three was different. Uh, it's just that the scene that messed me up it was weird. It was just like uh, he picks up his sweater and all the victims are in oh, his I chest. Oh, I think I remember that one. Yeah. You can see their faces. Like These are all souls. movies our son has not seen, so he has no yeah. idea what we're talking about. I saw part one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like how they killed off Johnny Depp like that. <laughs> yeah, and, that and that's why first, we watched it, And that was right? his first movie. That was his first movie. <laughs> yeah, but... So yeah, I, but then at the same time, I just like it, you know, because it, it's just it's just uh, it's a reminder that uh, trees and it's, are coming to an end. They're dying. The leaves are falling. It's gonna start the sun. You know, it's not as warm and as hot as it usually is. So it's that cycle of life that something must die to come back to life, which okay. is like nature. But at the same time, they use it with you know with to scare people. Like it's yeah. scary weather, it's scary temperatures, it's scary times. But it's just the whole wearing a mask and pretend to be something. It looked people. I will, I will never cosplay, but I will dress up the hell out of it. I will cosplay the crap out of everything on Halloween. You know, it's just, <laughs> the only time of year right. you'll cosplay. And I didn't get to celebrate a lot of Halloween as a kid. Uh, after my mom passed away, uh, I didn't get to celebrate Halloween that many times. I didn't get to buy costumes or anything like that so for me I, I enjoy seeing my kids dress up and i enjoy if i can dress up with them why not you know have fun um and another it's another one of those things that i said whenever i have a family i'll make sure that we have a good time and we'll do things together so yeah okay. I, I love halloween i love i yeah. love it it's fun i love it i just hate seeing christmas houses on halloween well i mean and we talked about the fact that I think the neighborhood we moved into is not 
It's a ghost so, town. It's a ghost so town they when it comes are to Halloween. <laughs> Right? It's, it's creepy walking down the dark street with no lights on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're just not going to get any candy yet. Right. Um, right. 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 But, I mean, definitely I think that the town we moved into is more uh, religious. Mm. And so that's my conclusion is that that's why we don't see that many Halloween decorations. is because we live in an older community that's very religious. Yeah. But I always notice that religious areas... Uh... You know, they seem to. Well, no, they don't. No, use I don't think so. Well, because we've got a lot of well, we got Pentecostals and Seventh Day Adventists, and the Mormons, and we got the Mormons, Mormons too. But I mean, gosh, I grew up Mormon, and we we had good parties. Like we, everyone dressed up. We had festivals. So I know it's not the Mormons. <laughs> it's not the Mormons not celebrating. It's I think the other faiths um, that are we're surrounded by. You know, I was thinking, you were saying that we've been getting all this Michael Myers stuff, and it's true. I've been going a little bit all out this year on that. Yeah, you did. Right, honey? It's finally gonna, I guess I finally get to do something I always wanted. The mask, I've always been stingy about Every it, year. Because it's like, oh, it's too expensive. It's so expensive. But every yeah. time we go, they're completely gone. By the, yeah. And so now I was like, well, I can't believe they actually have them. And, I, and you saw how picky I am. I, yeah. I oh, literally... yeah. He tried on so many different masks because he wanted the eyes to be just right, or the <laughs> so, creases. The or creases. The... Yeah. And apparently, I learned that I was obsessed with finding the 1978 one version. Not, yeah, mm-hmm. not the other one. So the original one. So yeah, I think my kids were very annoyed at me at the store because I was like, "Oh, they actually have like 15 of these in here. Like, let me try them all I'll on." All on. <laughs> And, and my wife was like, what, what, what are you looking for? Like, look at the eyes. Look at the screens. Look at the hair. Look at this. Look at that. I was like, okay. Look at the nostrils. Look at the mouth. Look at the- To the point it was like taking pictures so he could see himself. <laughs> okay, here, here's a picture of what you look like. Which one do you like better? <laughs> yeah. If yeah. I, and, and this is the reason why I love that guy on, on social media that he's always Michael Myers. Oh, yes. Because if I could, that would be me. Yes. All the time. Oh, my gosh. That guy's so annoying. I, I have his poor wife. His poor wife. <laughs> we also have a bunch of candy in the house that the kids keep eating well we had yeah <laughs> look at this, number two over there. number two is turned into like a little gopher his hands like came up to his mouth i was like i they keep i'm like we're not gonna have any candy left for halloween because these kids keep eating it stop eating the candy <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's laughing but try not to laugh in the mic again Anything else you want to talk about, buddy? Anything else you want to bring up? Mm. Just remember to be most excellent to <laughs> each other. Okay. Well, that's a perfect sign-off right there. Well, so, thank you for joining thank us, Thank you buddy. for joining us. Thank you for joining us, honey. I hope this was okay. Yeah. You're good? You got it out of your system? He's just nodding. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for listening, everybody. And we'll be back on again next week Mm -hmm. to discuss the origins of Halloween. Ooh. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. More scary time. Yeah, ma'am. All right. You guys have a safe one. Take care. Have a good night. Good night. Bye. Peace. Who does number two work for? (laughs) That's right, buddy. You tell that turn. (laughs)